Kia ora and welcome to your next lesson. So today we're talking about rhythm and rhythmic characteristics. Uh, your lesson to plan uh, or your lesson criteria is to understand the basics of certain rhythmic patterns. Um, and your success criteria is understanding triplets, swing and syncopated rhythms. Okay, so let's have a look. Rhythm. When discussing and thinking about rhythm, we think about the sequence of rests and note durations and if they make a certain or interesting pattern. So, for example, a pattern could be one, two, three, one, two, three, or crotchet, crotchet, minimum, crotchet, crotchet, minimum. And for example, that could last for the whole piece or for a whole section. If it does, then that's a repeated or repeated, um, repeated. What is repeated? A repeated rhythmic pattern of crotchet, crotchet, minimum. Now that obviously has a significance to the piece. So you would pull that out and you would say in your essay, this is a rhythmic pattern that has been clearly used in the piece. Uh, you would then identify where it is and then you would say how it's been used in the piece. Does it make it interesting? Does it develop? Does it uh, allow for the music to continue its momentum? Um, and how do the notes are used in regards to the rhythm? So that's kind of the stuff that you talk about when you're discussing rhythm. There are certain rhythm and rhythm, rhythmic characteristics that you also have to talk about. Uh, one of them is triplets, um, and triplets basically um, are notes that fit three quavers into the time of two. So, for example, you might go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay? And so triplets is putting three notes into these into now this crotchet beat. So it could be... Kamate, 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 one and two and three and four and kamate, 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 one and two and three and four and. So I'm using word association to help me uh, tell you what the triplets are. That's what triplets are. You have duplets. So duplets are basically the reverse. So you could be in a piece that goes one and a two and a three and a four and a quaver, 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 quaver. So it's just one and a two and a three and a four and a. And during that time, in one of those sets of three, you hit two quavers. So it's the opposite to a triplet. I'm not going to sing it out loud or say it out loud because I don't have the brain power to do that at this present stage. You then have a characteristic which is uh, very much in particular to a genre, and that's jazz genre, and we call this swing rhythm. Swing rhythm is basically uh, used in the bass line um, and also in the rhythm, rhythm section. So, for example, you in a typical rhythm uh, piece of music, or jazz, I should say, in jazz music, you go one and two and three and four and so da 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 da. But in jazz, you swing it, so it's da 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 da. So instead of it appearing as two quavers as it is here, it has actually appeared as a triplet, but with a crotchet and a quaver. So the, the first beat is slightly longer um, than the second quaver. Then what we have is the next and last characteristic that you need to know, and that's syncopation. And that's where the important rhythm is not on the beat. So if I was going to call out the important beats in a 4-4 time signature, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So basically the important beats are on 1 and 3. If you're going to syncopate that rhythm, it's now then giving uh, important notes to two, uh, to two and four. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the difference is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. So that's the difference uh, between syncopation and normal rhythm. So that is all you need to know about uh, rhythm and rhythmic characteristics. If you have any comments, also link below. Ah.